This show contains profanity, advice you should never follow, humor that you might not enjoy. The names have been changed to protect the guilty. Do not try this at home. Greetings, Yellow Blazers, Blue Blazers, Bill Bryson lovers, Bill Bryson haters, uh, dancers. Prancers. <laughs> have we did little tiny somethings? Uh, little Tommy no. Tancers? I think it's drinkers is what I'm thinking. Drinkers. Little Tommy Tankers. Tankers. <laughs> little Tommy Tankers. Welcome to the Pox of Puss podcast, a proud member of the Appalachian Trials family. My name is Pox Holiday, and sitting to my right... Puss in Boots. And we're recording live from Evergreen Terrace in Western North Carolina. Bum, bum, bum. Simpsons Nerds Unite. Be right back. Uh, so I'm, uh... I'm relatively certain that I have a bit of an addiction to podcasts. Like, I'm not so sure it's healthy. You can't, you can't get an erection without one. Uh, I, I bring them up in conversations, and then I have to explain what a podcast is. Of course, I'm never talking about ours um, to real people, um, <laughs> people in the real world. I'm never bringing that right. up. Yes. And uh, somebody, want, I somehow let something slip one time, and I called it my internet business. I don't know. I just... <laughs> There's nothing business about it, but um, but I was like, oh, this is uh, I was speaking out of turn. Anyway, um, so I'm I listen to them a lot. Like I've talked about before, I can listen to somewhere between eight and ten hours, depending on my work day, and I just zone out and listen to all these different podcasts. Um, I I would honestly think about uh, seeking out if there was like some type of research. What do they call that? The uh, the uh, clinical studies. Like, yeah. To see if there's like a correlation between uh, podcasts and having them in your ears all the time and maybe uh, like having voices in your head. Ooh. I'm not hearing anything once I take my earbuds out. Right. But, you know, you're just like you always have something going. But anyway, um, I was listening and having that right in your ear kind of brings up something that, that happened to both of us recently. Um, I was listening to two separate podcasts. Uh, one was Joe Rogan and one was something else. I can't remember what the other one was. But I remember uh, the guest that Joe Rogan had on was A, I believe he was Scottish, and B, had like one of the most amazing head colds you've ever heard. Nice. Like it almost, like it affected, you know how little people talk like this, like they had the cold like this, and like they can't say T words, it t- sounds like a D. Yeah. Like this guy had that. And it was, and then I, the other guest, the other one was the host of the show. They had a, a cough or something like that. I literally had to stop listening to two separate podcasts because of just the sounds of the illness that those people had. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of one of the things that happened to you and I in recent history. Yeah. You got it bad, right? I had it real bad. Did you expound upon that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally have in my notes <laughs> Puss's, Puss's uh, allergy story here. Oh, yeah, no, I just, it was it was a bad allergy season for me. <laughs> and so I had this, like, gross head cold. It was one of those, like, every morning, it's one of those, like, if your mom was nearby, you'd be like, well, you check my tissue for infection. Like, <laughs> it was just, Ugh. you know, real gross. And um, my voice was kind of, like, in and out. Sometimes it was, you know, like, I tend to be one of those people not having the most feminine voice in the world Mm -hmm. that when I get a cold, like, I really, I get the, we all know how I feel about Emma Stone, but I get, like, the sexy, (laughs) gravelly, like, Emma Stone voice, which I really like. Right. Um... This was not one of those times. And it was, like, four (laughs) weeks of it where, like, I couldn't, you know, we had to not record twice because i was like no really like oh yeah it just just wouldn't work um and and i'm glad we didn't because i was like well we could kind of push through and then it was like after hearing those two different i was like oh no i wouldn't want anybody to have to listen to that yeah you know um and what's funny is you're you're up here in western north carolina and we are kind of just now getting the we just got um pine uh, pollen Mm -hmm. And, you know, and about two weeks ago, something was blooming. It was like two or three weeks ago where I was like taking 
medicine constantly because I just couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. And it was like nobody else around me had it. But it was like, oh, I obviously have an allergy to something and nobody else is reacting to it. And I'm just like sitting there like just red eyed. Like, I I promise you I'm sick. I was, um, (laughs) I've never had this happen. And normally I don't get seasonal allergies, but for whatever reason this year got me bad. But, um, like at some point I felt like I had nerve pain in my ears like yeah. like you could feel the tube that connects your ears <laughs> yes. to your throat and I was just like ow why is this why can I feel this and it was like a dry, it felt like a dry socket when you get your wisdom teeth out um but like Ew. running from my ear to my throat it was very owie sorry I was just making noises <laughs> I was like well cool glad we hopefully we disgusted everybody um, with uh, with our illness stories, yeah. Um, but uh, that kind of explains one of the reasons we. I, I didn't. We only had one car for a while and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so we we didn't come here today to talk about illnesses. Wanted to put this episode out because uh, it's it's almost that time of year again, where we uh, where all the through hikers descend upon Damascus, and uh, and this is going to be our second annual uh, through hiker prom this year. Our third annual. Trail days. Exactly. And, oh, my uh, gosh. And so, just like always, we're going to be uh, set up in front of Mojo's Trailside Coffee House. Um, it's kind of on the north end of town, north being like the way the trail goes. Uh-huh. Uh, on the way out of town, if you're heading north on the uh, on the Creeper Trail, you're literally going to walk right past us if you're on the Creeper Trail heading out of town, heading north. Um, we're across the street from Dots. If anybody is familiar with that, and just down the street from Cowboys, um, it's also the place where everyone piles up before the, before the parade. So uh, stop by, come see us. Um, will we have shirts for sale? We have a few left. Yeah. So we'll have some shirts for sale, and we'll also have um, our our equipment set up. And we just love uh, interviewing people as you walk by. Um, sometimes we'll just pull in random people. I think the random people have been some of the best. I mean. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to seem thirsty. You don't want to seem thirsty. Yeah. If you haven't heard it, go back and listen to all of our Trail Days episodes. They're pretty much our, like, number three and number four most popular episodes are our Trail Days ones. Um, we can usually pull in between four and five different people who will interview. Hopefully this year, there's a couple of them already set up to come talk to us. So we'll have that plus anybody else we can pull in. Um, stop by and take a picture with, uh, oh, I'm going to, I'm bringing this old ass, I found this old Ooh. Yeah, one of the old... Can you even get that developed anymore? It says that it needs to be developed before um, 09-2007. All right. So it's already, you know, an eight-year-old film. We're looking at one of those um, disposable point-and-shoot yeah. Kodak. <laughs> yeah, the ones you that wind you have to up. wind them. So, they, yeah. they were all the rage at weddings in, like, you know, 2000. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so I found one of those. I'm like, I'm just going to take pictures. I, I, th- I said I was going to take selfies with that thing. And uh, so, yeah, so <laughs> just just for the hell of it. And then, nice. then I'll find a random Walmart that still develops that kind of thing, yeah. probably. Um, but anyway, so this year, prom's a little bit different. It's not going to be at the Damascus Brewery. It's going to be basically right next to Tent City. Nice. Um, at the Bingo Hall. It's a big, long, white building. Um, the, the, the Bingo Hall itself will open at noon. And you can go in. At, what, I'd, what I'd recommend doing is go ahead and go to the Bingo Hall on Saturday. Or you can also go on Friday. You can go to the Damascus Brewery. But just to keep it simple here, you can go to Damascus. Excuse me. You can go to the Bingo Hall starting at noon on Saturday or trail days. You can go there and go ahead and buy your, your, your bracelet. It's five bucks from 12 noon until basically midnight so for 12 hours you have a you have a shelter you can walk into Mm -hmm. bathrooms you can use and beer you can drink and also there's gonna be a cornhole tournament that's going on throughout the afternoon then at three o'clock a band called red light rodeo which like a lot of people have been like you guys have them playing like yeah you know um the the damascus brewery set up the band (laughs) sorry the Damascus Brewery set up the bands that are going to be playing, and uh, and then we're going to be in charge of, like the music in between the bands. So anyway, so from three to six, with a little intermission in there, will be Red Light Rodeo, and then from six to eight, there'll be music in between, dancing and that kind of thing, and then from eight until eleven is a band called Sugar Lime Blue. I had actually heard of them before um, they told me that that was going to be one, our second band. 
And then, uh, and then they play until like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then after that music and that kind of thing, well, we're, we're still working it out. It's either going to be in the intermission of sugar Lime blue, or it's going to be at the end of their show is when we're going to actually, this year, we're going to have a microphone that we can use and actually have a King and queen, um, of the oh prom. My. Oh my. And, uh, so we'll figure out all that stuff. So when you get there, you'll have a chance to vote and that kind of thing. Um, Obviously, the parade starts at 2, usually ends around 3, so you can just pretty much just walk straight. If you're heading back to your tent, you're going to be walking by, and there's actually two guest breweries that are going to be providing beer as well. Nice. So, yeah, so we have a much bigger venue than last year. Um, it's really the perfect place. Yeah. I'm, and I'm excited. Yeah, basically right next to Tent City for the most part, just out of town, just like everything else there. Um, and, uh, yeah, so so come see us at tri- at Mojo's. And also come see us um, all day at at the at the uh, at the prom. Um, so yeah, come dress to impress. Um, I think there's going to be other little giveaways we're going to have. Um, so uh, yeah, so we're working out the details of who's going to be giving us those giveaways. But uh, yeah, we'll talk about that later, some other time. Uh, I might. I gotta poop. <laughs> <laughs> I might. I've got to. I'll be right back. I love it. I have to find him. I love it. So, uh, speaking of stuff we love, do you see those two boxes over there next to my ratty shoes? I do. All right. So the one on. So we have a Amazon wish list, much like your average porn star has. Um, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> For those of you at home, for those of you who... I just made a confused head tilt <laughs> True. In, yeah, that's right. in, in Pox's direction when he said, much like porn stars, well, it, I was unaware. As it turns out, <laughs> from from research, uh-huh. turns out like, um, uh, like low-level porn star kind of people, um, they set up like an Amazon wish list because when you set up the wish list, like they can't see your address. Like you're just like, I like these things. So, you know, so somebody will put up like a, they'll, they'll put up like a dress or they'll put up something and the person will buy it and then they'll thank them for it, you know. So it's just a basically a way to get free shit. Those beza- bedazzled G-strings don't, yeah. they don't come for free. Kool-Aid, are you serious? <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, yeah, everything bedazzled. I won. And, we, but, had a, we had a staring contest uh, and I won. Yeah, he usually loses. Oh. Um, so, uh, <laughs> um, bedazzled. So anyway, so we have a porn star wish list um, set up as well for the prom. And that box on top is all decorations. First you open the box, then you put the sparkly things in the box. So you're looking at probably like, I don't know, 15 rolls of streamers. That's exciting. Um, though, do you see the tinsley thing over there? Uh-huh. Those are, that is a is like... Is a curtain? Three by eight curtain. Oh my God. And we probably have about 10. We have black, pink... <laughs> silver um there's one that's even a rainbow so we have that um the box on the left those are lights that are remote controlled we can change the color of the lights throughout the night um and then the stuff on the bottom is kind of like what we gave out last year like the the led light up rings yeah people were really the, excited uh, people, about those. people went crazy just just yeah keep them out of your mouths people yeah that was the one thing i was like ugh. did you watch the tosh recently where the kid i, I can't watch tosh anymore oh. <laughs> I just it I I, it I never I never know what's happening next. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. Um, <laughs> there is a clip where this kid, it's a dark room. It's like a dark kitchen, mm-hmm. but the microwave is glowing like crazy, mm-hmm. and it's this dumbass One like second. cools. Sorry, sorry. Um, this is a kid in a dark room, and then sorry. he's in the kitchen, and the microwave is glowing, and he is microwaving glow sticks. Oh, God. And he's like, ooh. And he <laughs> opens up the microwave and takes them out, and then all of a sudden you just hear, like, a pop, uh, and then screaming. Yeah. And, like, you know, there's, like, glow stick stuff that, like, pops. Yeah. And then you hear what has to be, like, Merv the stepdad that <laughs> never gets any credit for being a decent human being like runs in and he's like oh shit you didn't really microwave the i told you not to microwave the glow sticks oh god and on your fancy shirt oh geez on your fancy shirt and he's like 
Are you okay? Is it in your eyes? Oh, God. <laughs> and that was it. That was like the whole clip, and it made me laugh. Have you ever seen, I think it's Blend Tech. It's not Vitamix, but like Blend Tech Blenders. I think it's Blend Tech. It wouldn't take long. It's one of the top two blender companies, but they have like a... They're kind of a big deal. Will it blend? Oh, it's and, like a basomatic. Yeah, it's like a basomatic, but yeah, it's just like a will it blend? And uh, one of the first ones I ever saw, and it's like a lot of stuff is like, yeah, obviously this is going to blend. Yeah. But they stuck in like 10 uncracked glow sticks and then put the lid on the top. And then, you know, all it took was the first crack and that, and the thing just starts glowing nice. once everything mixes together. Um, they blend, I believe they became famous um, because they blend a uh, iPhone, like when they first came out or oh, something yeah. like that. And uh, so they'll do a lot of that kind of thing. I do recall. But uh, we do actually have glow sticks to give out. <laughs> nice. And then um, we have these, like, they're these huge, like, 16-inch long pieces of foam that have a switch on the end and it changes between like six different colors and it's just like a baton. I don't know. It looks like something. You had me at 16 inches. <laughs> you had me at switch on the end. Mm -hmm. And so we have the rings. We have these 16 inch things. We have the uh, necklaces. Uh, we have all kinds of things. We have all kinds of things to hand out and give away. And even more still available on the Amazon wish list. Absolutely. I think uh, I'll put this is going to be out on Wednesday. I'd say, you know, by like. Saturday-ish would probably be the last day because I'm leaving on the Friday of uh, trail days. So maybe I could get it Friday morning, hopefully Thursday. Anyway, you'll figure it out. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Man, a living. I wonder if we could set it up so that people could buy us stuff even if we don't ask for it. Do you want uh, something bedazzled? I mean, no, but I'm just saying like, you know. I think it'd be funny to get like a taxidermied squirrel, <laughs> even if we didn't ask for one. Yeah, through Amazon. Yeah. Well, yeah, we could we could probably figure that out. If porn stars, if low level porn stars can do it, <laughs> so can we. So can low level podcasts. <laughs> oh, speaking of our popularity, yeah. Um, apparently, we're huge in Pensacola, Florida. Oh. Amongst high schoolers. <laughs> <laughs> really yes we're apparently helping kids get through uh through exams this week oh that's nice <laughs> yes exactly um i completely misunderstood the conversation and was under the impression these kids were graduating from college high school and it turns out that, no i was um, i was guessing college and uh turns out it was high school yeah and turns out I think they're juniors in high school. Oh, good. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, yeah. kids are maturing a lot faster these days. Exactly. We're like a fine wine in that you can drink at any time. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, a few more days left on the porn star wish list. Um, hey, if you just want to bring something. Yeah. You know, if, if you want to bring something to us at Trail Days, we'll take it. We'll take a taxidermy squirrel. Yeah. We won't turn it down. Um, and if there's something you want to use decoration-wise, the one thing we're going to ask um, is no latex balloons. A um, couple people contacted me, and they have severe latex allergies because I'd had balloons on the list, for, in the beginning, those LED light-up balloons. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and they were just like, I can't even be in the same room with them. So no problem. So no latex balloons. <laughs> you know oh and by the way yeah the the, the 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 theme the quote unquote theme of this is 50 shades of blaze love it yes that love was, it that was all uh Damascus brewery like we were like sitting like what do we what do we call it and we were spitballing back and forth and adam was like uh 50 shades of blaze and i was like that's it and it was just like a complete throwaway line but i was like no 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 that's it that's gonna do it next right year there. yeah 51 shades of blaze oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking under the sea. Oh, enchantment under the sea. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever was like we were talking about. I'm like, all I can think of is Back to the Future mm -hmm. when I had to discuss. The enchantment under the is sea. Is it enchantment dance? under the yeah. sea? Okay. It wasn't so, yeah. even a promise. It was just the enchantment under the sea stands. God bless. Okay, so just remember, this is a, a little mini episode since it's been so long. I uh, just wanted to put it out before um, a week before Trail Days starts up. Um, so yeah, so go to, uh, what you can do is you can go to our Facebook page and Twitter and we're going to have everything posted up about, about the, uh, the wish list. If you want to go to that, it's just the, 
can go to the wish list. Let's see. You can go. Oh, do here's one thing. Um, I created the 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 event page for the prom, mm-hmm. and uh, I was such an idiot, didn't realize that I had set it up as a private event. Oh, jeez. Uh, I know. I know. So then I was like. I had invited like basically everybody on my on my friends list on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, there's some arbitrary number that they uh, they decide upon how, how many people you can invite. And uh, so I guess it uh, I hit a, I reached a li- like some limit where I can't invite anyone else. Are so, you saying I'm not invited? Um, you are not invited. Oh fuck! But you're invited. Oh, thank you. Yes. Just like we have been, uh, who, who are we going to say? Like, you know, I guess like it's sometimes at uh, different events, they'll say, uh, invited guest, Lauren Hill. That's right. And it's like, they were just like, yeah, we're going to let Lauren Hill come. But, you know, Lauren Hill never even got the message. So who was our invited guest? Ray Jardine. That's right. Ray Jardine was our invited guest. We're going to do this prom the right way. <clears throat> um, so in other words, go to Facebook, find our lists, Find the events. We'll figure it out. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, find us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, at Pox and Puss. You can email me. Oh, we're looking for some volunteers to help us um, set up a little bit on Friday, do some decorating. Um, and then also, it would also be nice to have some people hang out and help us clean up on Saturday. Uh, slash, Yeah, help us clean up on Saturday after the event. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in doing that, send me an email, poxholiday at gmail.com, or drop me a message on Facebook or Twitter. Puss in Boots. <laughs> Puss in Boots AT at gmail.com or um, at AT Puss in Boots on Twitter. And somewhere on, in there we're on Pinterest. And also on Instagram. We have a lot of, uh, again, it's still like our biggest following is our Instagram account that's sporadically updated. We didn't really mention what we were drinking today. You should. So uh, Puss stopped at the convenience store and picked up some mood-altering substances, such as my sugar-free NeuroFuel uh, mood enhancement. Uh, it's basically just a powered an energy drink, but at the top of it, it has uh, you know what it can do for you. It says intelligence, motivation, happiness, EBT approved, which means you know food stamps. Um, and yours is something with bob marley on it this is marley's mellow mood green tea with honey it's a decaffeinated relaxation drink oh it's relaxation i feel extreme relaxation and i feel intelligent and food stampy happy Mm, yeah and happiness i thought you needed that thank you um so yeah so that's us uh in a nutshell uh (laughs) bob marley neuro fuel um go to the go to the uh I'm going to shut up now. I'm just going to shut up. I'll say kick it, and you'll just kick it with a tasty groove. God damn it, Kyle. (laughs) All right. We'll see. Oh, uh, there'll be a new episode next week. We're going to record it right now. Okay. So it's going to sound a lot like this one. Okay, bye. You had me at 16 inches. You had me at switch on the end. Mm-hmm.